Tomorrow might be the last official day of summer, but parts of the country have just experienced their wettest three months on record. The unseasonal conditions are due, are due to a strong La Nina pattern. And while on one side of Australia people are sheltering from the rain, there's a scorching heat wave on the other. Summer is drawing to a close, but this morning Melburnians were asking what summer? Conditions have been wild and wet, thanks to one of the strongest La Nina weather patterns in history. Darwin is headed for its wettest wet season on record. The city has had over a metre of rain this month. In the highest ever wet season rainfalls, uh, we're only about just over 14 millimetres away from beating the wettest ever rainfall on record. It's likely the record will be smashed tonight. All that's needed is a light shower. But on the other side of the country, there's a heat wave. Perth residents have had 22 days in a row over 30 degrees. All these extremes are keeping the National Meteorology Centre busy. Uh, we, we do expect to see a more heavy rain up across uh, the northern parts of Australia. We've got uh, developing uh, tropical low up in Kimberley Coast, which may form into a cyclone in 48 hours' time. We've also got another small low in the Gulf of Carpentaria, so that's uh, inducing some widespread rain. This map shows rainfall levels for the past three months. The dark blue areas have recorded their highest ever rainfall. This summer, Brisbane has had double its long-term average rainfall. Tourists are staying away. Well, we've had certainly reports of dozens of businesses, generally smaller businesses, who've given up, who just cannot sustain uh, another lost harvest, as it were, in our industry. And it has been a lost harvest for us this summer. The Climate Institute says the extremes show climate change at work. Uh, we will see more intense cyclones, uh, we'll see more intense flooding and we'll see uh, a more intensity in drought. So it's a, a great risk for Australians for uh, the way uh, and the costs and way in which we live and the way in which we work. The Farmers Federation says rather than climate change, the recent rain just proves how changeable Australia's environment is. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Melbourne.